this video, we will show you how to prepare and carry out fogging tasks in a contaminated area. Place signage outside room, ante room before you begin. Please follow link above for doning and doffing personal protective equipment. Respirator masks and wraparound goggles are not mandatory and should be used only if entering the area during fogging time or while chemical aerosols are still active. Otherwise, surgical masks, FFP2 or 3 masks are safe to use. Place mask over face with straps at the back of your head. Pull cords to tighten mask for closer fit. Place wrap around goggles over the eyes, adjust at the back. Put hood of overall over the mask and goggles. Open all wardrobes, toilet seats, lockers, paper towel and tissue dispensers. Remove contents from dispensers and bin in a healthcare risk waste bin. Place mattress on its side so both top and underneath can be reached by aerosols. Remove or disable smokehead from fire alarm board. If not removed and only disabled, please cover it up to prevent aerosol entering the smokehead detector. Seal all vents, remove all linen fabric, curtains, bed linen and send for terminal or chemical disinfection. Place fogging machine in the furthest corner facing the centre of the room. Fogging machine should be raised one metre above floor level. Set up fogging machine with the required chemical and dosage. Set timer plug to start fogging when the room is empty and to allow you time to exit and seal the door. Allow machine to finish the fogging cycle and enter the room after the contact time for aerosols has passed depending on the chemical used. Once fogging is done, remove tape around the door frame and remove the fogging machine. Remove covers from vents and smoke heads, making sure to enable smoke detectors. After fogging, bedroom contact surfaces need to be neutralized using a cleaning agent. In our case, this is BioClean Multi-Surface Sanitizer at a dilution ratio of 1 to 10 parts per million. <laughs>